everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a Birchbox versus Ipsy um, unboxing. And I'm gonna start doing this monthly for you guys. Um, and I'll also put up a video uh, later in the month after I've actually tried all the products and let you know what I thought. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I tried to do this video for you guys um, last month, but unfortunately my Ipsy box did not get here until like the very end of the month. And at that point, it was like, who cares? All right, so, unboxing. Okay, so we're open. So here is the box. This looks like a confetti box. And this is the back. Um, so I guess this month is their like birthday month. So when they first started, so we'll see what we got says now that fall is around the corner uh, we're jumping into multitasking mode and celebrating the versatile time-saving products that help us juggle everything on our to-do list because at the end of the day beauty should make our lives easier and ad add a dash of fun another thing we're celebrating you this month marks six years of Birchbox and our hearts are bursting thanks for being a part of our ever more amazing community cheers to you and getting stuff done that was nice. On the back of this, um, they talk about the different products, how much they retail for, so on and so forth. So, the first thing I'll talk about is the, what I got was the Kula. And hopefully you guys can see that. There you go. Kula Mineral Face SPF 30 Unscented Matte Tint. Mineral based tinted moisturizer that softens even skin tone and contains SPF 30 plus it leaves behind a clean matte finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly swatch this really quick. Oops, has a little opening. So this retails for $36 and it is mineral based, so I'm just gonna put some on my hand. Wow, squeezing it, there doesn't seem like there's hardly anything in this product. Like I squeeze it from the middle and nothing is coming out. So I really don't know how much product is actually in this thing. So it comes out to that consistency. Wow, it... It is like first, it's not soaking into the skin. So that's kind of concerning and it's already kind of caking up. I don't know if you can see those little like goopies. So I'll try it out, but compared to other skin tints, which I'm actually doing a review um, on the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. So I'm gonna put that up. I'm actually in the middle of a first impression right now. So that video will be up shortly for you guys. Um, the next product in the Birch Box is the Divine's Replumping Hair. Replumping, so the next thing is the Divine's Natural Tech Replumping Hair Filler Super Active. This is $40 retailed. Um, this powerful leave-in treatment fortifies the structure of your strands, leaving them moisturized, shiny, and full of body. And bonus, we've added in this volume-boosting shampoo and conditioner duo that amps up moisture and elasticity while breathing new life into limp, flat hair. So it looks like they added um, the shampoo and conditioner to that. So I'm gonna hold, oh, sorry, this is the actual product. Um, so this is the hair filler, and then this is the shampoo and conditioner that goes with it. Um, it doesn't say on here how much the shampoo and the conditioner retail for. Um, I will go ahead and put it somewhere up here um, and let you know how much that is. So I don't really have a problem with um, necessarily like a hair filler, um, but I guess it's just gonna help it keep moisturized and shiny so um next is the dr brandt pores no more cleanser this retails for 36 dollars a best-selling face wash that minimizes pores 
and leaves skin clean, fresh, and velvety smooth. So I'm actually really interested in trying this. Um, I am kind of trying to battle um, open pores and things like that, so I think this will really help. So this next one is the Kiel, Kiel's since 1851. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Kiel's um, Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This retails for $49.50. Um, this concentrated serum targets stubborn sunspots and acne scars with a potent blend of activated sea, white birch, and peony extracts. Um, so it is supposed to help with dark spots, so I'm really interested. I don't have too many, um, so I hope that I can use this. I may see if maybe my mom or someone else wants to try it that maybe is battling it a little bit more than I do. And if that's the case, then I will give you their thoughts on that because I really don't have too many sunspots. The last product in this box is the Milk Makeup. I've actually been really wanting to try this product, so I'm actually really, really excited about it. Um, so it is the, it's Milk Makeup, it's a highlighter. Um, it retails for $24. Sweep on this flattering highlighter wherever you need a subtle dewy sheen and a boost of hydration from mango butter, peach nectar, and avocado oils. So I'll go ahead and do a quick little swatch of this. It smells like, like coconut, like a pina colada. On to the next, which is Ipsy. Last month, like I said, um, I didn't get it in time, so I was really bummed. Um, so I really wanted to put this up for you guys. I did really like the Ipsy versus the Birch Box. Like I actually preferred it more but I wasn't too happy at the fact that I got it so late, but I think it's because I signed up and I don't know, maybe just the processing and stuff just made it late. But what's weird is I, I signed up for Ipsy before I even signed up for Birchbox, so I don't know how that happened. Okay, so let's read the card. Real talk, we're through with lazy beauty, which is funny because I feel like Birchbox was all about the lazy. At least so that's what you may have seen. Simplifying, things like that. So apparently Ipsy is sick of it. So we're through the lazy, through with lazy beauty. Put away your sweatpants, let down your ponytail, and get glammed up just for the hell of it. Third coat of mascara, check. Five extra minutes to conquer the perfect cat eye, double check. Getting busy with skincare before bedtime, you know it. So this one is Ipsy Glamazon, too glam to give a damn. <laughs> so here is the bag that I got, super cute. That's one thing I kind of do like about Ipsy is you get these little cute makeup bags. After 12 months, am I gonna get sick of having this many makeup bags? Probably will, so we'll see how that goes. I'm sure, like I said, I could always give these, I could always gift them out, I guess. I don't know if it's just my, I'm like looking around. I don't know if it's just my bag or what, is this open? But normally they give you like a card to say like what everything is and how much it retails for. And I don't have that. I'll just put the link um, of everything below and um, I'll put up here, um, you know, the retail price. So this is the Tarte, uh, Tartist Lash Paint. So it is a mascara. Again, no briefing on this or claims. I don't have anything, in, any of that with me. Um, the next one is the Ico London I Do Liquid Eyeliner. And this says, the nib is the perfect shape and size to give you control. It gives you the precision to draw on the perfect cat eye, um, delivers intense single stroke color with a precision tip designed to accentuate eyes with a water resistant carbon black finish. Features wide lash to promote the appearance of longer, fuller, stronger lashes with up to three times more length and volume with regular use. Pretty exciting. This next one, this next one is the Be Fine Food Skin Care. 
exfoliating cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats. So that's this. It says, our cleanser exfoliates and removes impurities while naturally balancing your skin's moisture. Brown sugar, almond, and oats remove excess oil and nourish dry, sensitive skin. The next one is Epice. I'm probably murdering that, sorry. But um, it is a restorative toner, which is nice because I actually don't have a toner right now. Um, it says, after cleansing with hydrating facial cleanser, moisten a cotton pad with a small amount of restorative toner and apply in upward and outward strokes over the face and neck. For best results, use daily to enhance skin tone. Follow with daily facial um, sunscreen in the morning or rejuvenating night cream at bedtime. So, actually, I'm really excited because I don't have a toner. Um, the next one is crown brush this is an ombre angle brush it's very soft very nice so that's good i can always use more brushes that is it i hope you like this unboxing um like i said end of the month look forward to a review of everything i am definitely going to put all these products to the test um as of right now just looking at without trying the products what i like more I think I'm, ah, God, it's tough. I really like the fact that there is a brush. Oh, and I just noticed with this brush, there's like a little, there's little um, divots. I don't know how you say that. Um, so that way you can hold it better and have more precision. So that's awesome. Um, I do like the fact that Ipsy has a brush, eyeliner, and mascara. So as of right now, I'm leaning more towards that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my channel. Stay tuned for more videos and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.